How to install rain gutters for mobile homes Rain gutters are a great addition to any mobile home. Rain gutters add value to any home, as well as protecting and preserving the house from wear and tear. Installing rain gutters can take one day or less, but allowing a full weekend will ensure that you have enough time to finish the project. The items listed in this article should be adjusted to fit your project size. All of the materials lists should be modified per project for best results. Things you will need Rain gutter materials, including, leaf guards, elbows, seamers, hanging brackets downspout sections, sleeve pieces, and caps, downspout connector pieces, aluminum mounting straps, and gutter materials. 8 screws Silicone sealant Short sheet metal screws 8 1 screws 10 3 screws Combination square String Tape measure Line level Heavy duty tin snaps Drill bits Power drill Pencil Automatic center punch File Jigsaw Pliers Ladder. Begin by calculating the slope of the eaves. Attach the string to the line level to calculate the slope of the roof. Every 10 feet the gutters need to be inch lower than they were before. This is to ensure proper water flow. Mark the level lines with a chalk line, and then mark inch below for the slope gauge. Now you will be measuring and cutting the gutters. Place the elbow gutters around any place where a corner needs to be covered. Mark the ends of the gutter pieces and then subtract inch per side for seams. Measure the length of the sides of the house. This will be how long you need to cut the gutters. Measure out the appropriate length on the gutter pieces and mark. Use the combination square to mark the spot around the whole gutter. Use the tin snaps to carefully cut the gutter in the marked place. Next comes attaching the gutters. Snap the hanging brackets to the gutter sections. Place one 6 inches away from each end of the gutter, and then every 18 to 24 inches after that. Take the gutters up the ladder and screw the hang brackets just below the eaves with the 8 1 inch screws. Attaching the downspouts is the next step. The last segment of gutter where you want the downspout to attach you must cut a hole in the shape of the gutter sleeve. Before hanging the last gutter section, place the gutter sleeve on the bottom of the gutter and trace the outline of the sleeve with a pencil. Use a center punch to punch out the four corners of the gutter, then cut the rest away with a jigsaw. File down the edges. Put the sealant on the lip of the gutter sleeve, and place inside the gutter. Attach an end cap to the last gutter in the line. Crimp the edges with pliers to hold in place. Measure the length for the downspout and cut to size. Be careful not to cut the tapered end, or it will not fit into the other gutter. Connecting the gutters is the last step. Attach the downspout for a test fit before screwing into place. When it fits, place the assembly over the connectors and screw together. Then place the aluminum bands around the downspouts and attach to the wall with screws. Finally attach all gutter pieces to the end and elbow pieces. Put sealant on the seamer pieces and attach over the gaps between the gutters. This should make the gutters watertight. Tips Warnings This project is best attempted with help. Doing it alone will be much harder. When finished with the project, run some water through a hose to see if the gutters are watertight, and if the water is flowing properly. When cutting the gutters, be sure to watch the edges of the aluminum. They are razor sharp 